States. Uh, Virginia Oliver, longtime East Chicago <laughs> resident who was born in 1915, will turn 100 years old August 31st, 2015. Mother Virginia Oliver is worthy of recognition, commendation, and respect for her commitment, dedication, and loyalty to, to the city of East Chicago. Mother Oliver was the wife of the late Robert Oliver, with whom she moved to East Chicago to build a life together nearly 70 years ago. And you may remember Luther Artis, father of John Artis. He was my father's uh, best friend, and they served together in World War II. Uh, Mom often tells the story of how Luther urged my father to come to Chicago, saying, come here, Bob, there's plenty of jobs. Mm -hmm. And so that's how she ended up here in East Chicago. And she's never moved away from the city since, the, since that time, which is the mid-1940s. Uh, Mother Virginia Oliver has been a resident of both the Harbor and Calumet sections of the city of East Chicago. She began life in East Chicago in an apartment over the JPL Furniture Store on Main Street in the Harbor. And while living in the Harbor, she gave birth to two children, Robert Larry, who was a 1967 graduate of Roosevelt High School, and myself, Cheryl Ann, who's a current East Chicago resident and 1968 graduate of Roosevelt High School. In 1953, Virginia and Robert Oliver bought the residence that Virginia con continues to reside in at 4802 McCook Avenue in Calumet. Mother Oliver has lived in the same home since 1953. From this home, Mother Oliver has created a rich legacy. She has raised two children who attended Garfield Elementary School, Carrie Gosh Elementary School, and Roosevelt High School. She served on the school's PTAs and was a loyal supporter and an involved parent at each school. Virginia Oliver worked mainly as a stay-at-home wife and mother, which was common during her time. But throughout her life, Virginia Oliver served various residents of East Chicago as a seamstress and beautician. In later years, after her children were in college and or marriage, Virginia served the school city of East Chicago as a crossing guard, which was her first and only job in the city outside of the home. Virginia Oliver additionally worked, served the city of East Chicago as a poll worker, keeping the books and approving voters on election days. Mother Oliver's contributions to the community have been rich and varied. Always a strong believer and dedicated church member, Virginia Oliver began her church life in East Chicago as a member of the First Baptist Church, where she sang in the choir and served as a secretary. Following that, one of her proudest contributions was the founding of the Greater First Baptist Church of East Chicago in 1957. Mother Oliver proudly tells the story of how the Greater First Baptist Church began in her home. After the founding pastor, Reverend P.C. Harrison, came to her home at 4802 Mythic Avenue and spent the day begging her husband, Deacon Robert Oliver, to join him in forming a new church, Greater First Baptist Church. Her husband, Deacon Oliver, finally agreed, becoming the first and longest serving chairman of the Deacon Board 34 years. At the first church meeting, Mother Virginia Oliver was named church financial secretary, which she served for 27 years. In addition to that role, Virginia Oliver served as a deaconess, missionary, choir member, church decorator, and ultimately church mother. She continues to serve as Greater First Baptist Church's oldest mother. Virginia Oliver has worked to keep the city and community beautiful from her home for the past 62 years. That effort culminated with her home at 4802 McCook Avenue being named Best House on the Block for the Calumet area in 2013 by Neighborhoods Incorporated. She served as a mother and role model for many children who are now adults throughout the community. She continues to serve as an example and an inspiration for all who encounter her and a living example of how it truly pays to serve Jesus. So, I'm asking you to please give some special consideration to some form of recognition and commendation for Virginia Oliver from the city of East Chicago, Indiana. Virginia Oliver has reached a landmark that few have 100 years of life. Living as long as mother, Virginia Oliver has in one place 
and continue to serve as a fixture and symbol of all that is good and memorable from the corner of 148th and McCook Avenue in Calumet. I humbly ask that consideration be given to naming McCook Avenue or at least a portion in her honor. I have tried to get her to leave East Chicago when I was in California, but she refused, saying that her friends, her church, and her home was in East Chicago. She told me she lived here almost 50 years at that time and lived by herself, and she would be all right. Well, you know, God has mysterious ways of working things out and giving her a heart's desire. He had me move back here, which I never expected, and allowed her to remain here in her beloved East Chicago. Oh, some friends. Uh, my husband, after we got married, they called him in the service. Oh. And when he came out, a lot of his friends, boys, had come this way. And they said, come this way, Bob. A plenty of job. Uh, you won't have no trouble. He said, well, if I, uh, uh, I'll be there. And uh, I said, he said, honey, would stay with your mother until I go see what it's like. And if I like it, you come on. And that's what we did. My daddy was a polar for the Southern Station Polar. And he, they gave me my pass to come up here, even though I was married, to come. No. And I came here, and we've been here ever since. That's wonderful. That's just wonderful. So how you been liking it here in East Chicago? Huh? How you like it here in East Chicago? Oh, my children were born here. That is wonderful. Like fine. That's great. It's a pretty it's a pretty good city, huh? Yes it is. <laughs>